Hi children welcome you all to the session today we are going to start our new exercise exercise 2.4 you can take page number 46 in this exercise we are going to fully deal with how to divide a whole number and a fraction and we are going to divide a fraction and a whole number and how to divide two fractions we have already discussed about this in our refreshing class session but the problem related to that concept today we are going to discuss it okay children today we are going to discuss exercise 2.4 so what is the concept given in exercise 2.4 it is about how to divide a whole number and a fraction whole number and a fraction or sometimes they will be giving about how to discuss or how to divide a fraction and a fraction that we are going to discuss today okay you can take page number 46 in your ncert textbook there you can refer the questions okay what is the first question given find find we are going to divide a whole number this is whole number right this is a whole number and a fraction we are going to uh, divide both the values and find the answer okay now division means you can't divide it directly what you will do you will convert it into multiplication so what it will become if division becomes multiplication the next number to that will become reciprocal okay the next number to that symbol will become reciprocal not this number after this symbol what number is there that will become reciprocal keep it in your mind after that symbol what it is there that will become reciprocal so 12 division will become multiplication so after this division symbol what uh, number is there 3 by 4 so that will become reciprocal which means upside down numerator will become denominator denominator will become numerator see this 12 can we write 12 by 1 yes now shall be, there is any possibility to cancel it can we cancel these two no shall i cancel these two yes 3 ones are 3 3 fours are 12 now 4 ones 4 four fours are 16 divided by 1 one ones are 1 so 16 by 1 is 16 so this is 16 is my answer so listen first i am writing the whole number by using a fraction then division will become multiplication the next number to that symbol will become reciprocal if there is any possibility to cancel it you can cancel it and write it okay children next the second subdivision 14 so how we will write 14 14 divided by 1 division how i will write multiplication so the next number to that will become reciprocal 6 by 5 5 by 6 will become 6 by 5 is there any possibility to cancel no so shall i multiply it 14 into 6 is what 6 fours are 24 84 84 divided by 1 5 are 5 okay 14 into 6 is 84 1 into 5 is 5 this is a improper fraction is it correct so shall i convert it into mixed fraction 5 ones are 5 3 4 6 5s are 30 Four remainder. So four sixteen. Four by five sixteen. Four by five is the answer. Next, eight by seven by three. So eight how I will write eight by one in terms of fraction. Division will become multiplication. So then this will become reciprocal. Three by seven. Always a next number to the division. The number. Ne uh, near to that, which means after the symbol, what number is there? That alone you should reciprocal it. So three by seven is there any possibility to cancel? No. Eight three is a twenty-four. So eight three is a twenty-four. One seven is a seven. Is there any possible? Uh, is 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 there any possibility to cancel here? No. Shall I divide it? Yes. Seven twenty-four. Seven three is a twenty-one. Three remainder. So three three by seven is the mixed fraction. Fourth question. Four how I will write four by one. Division will become multiplication. So this will reciprocal. Three by eight. Is there any possibility to cancel it? Yes. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. 
Now one threes are three, one twos are two. One threes are three, one twos are two. This is my improper fraction, is it? So what you will do? You will convert it into mixed. So one one by two is my answer. Understood? Your uh, fifth and sixth question is your homework, which is related to that. Okay, children. Next question. Find the reciprocal of each of the following fractions. We are going to find the reciprocal of these fractions and classify the reciprocal as proper fraction. Then we should find the reciprocal value and whether it is proper fraction or improper fraction or it is whole number, whole numbers. That we should write it. Okay. Whole number means what? Only like this it will be. This is one whole number, right? This is 14 is one whole. Like that it will be there. Proper means what? Numerator is less than denominator. Improper means numerator is greater than denominator. So we should classify like that. So what is the reciprocal for uh, Reciprocal of 3 by 7 is 7 by 3 and it is a what fraction 7 by 3 is reciprocal value is what fraction here it is it is an improper fraction okay. Listen, reciprocal of 3 by 4, 7 is 7 by 3 so 7 by 3 is an improper fraction now. Reciprocal of uh, 5 by 8 is what? 8 by 5. So, it is an improper fraction. Okay. So, you should write like this children. So third value. Third question. Reciprocal of 9 by 7 is? 7 by 9. Is it? Reciprocal of 9 by 7 is? 7 by 9. It is a? Proper fraction, okay. It is a proper fraction. Next, reciprocal of 6 by 5 is 5 by 6, is it? Reciprocal of 6 by 5 is 5 by 6. So, it is an, it is a proper fraction. So, you should consider this uh, answer and you should write accordingly, okay. Next question is your, uh, uh, what next is your fifth, sixth and uh, seventh question. What is the reciprocal of uh, seven, sixth question? One by eight. Eight. Eight is a whole number. Okay. Reciprocal of one by eight is eight by one. Eight by one is nothing but eight. So, it is a whole number. Okay. Did you understand how to write that? Question, second question. Now, it comes your third question. Here we are going to divide a fraction and a whole number. In previous question, whole number and a fraction. Here, fraction and a whole number. So, we are, can start, can we start it? Yes. 7 by 3 as such. Multiplication is a division will become. Multiplication is it? Division will become multiplication. So, 2. 2 is actually what? 2 by 1. If it reciprocal, it will become 1 by 2. Is it? 2 reciprocal of 2 is what? 1 by 2. Now, shall I multiply it? 7 into 1 is 7. 3 twos are 6. So, reciprocal, this division will become multiplication. 2 will become 1 by 2. This is how you should divide a fraction and a whole number. This is, looks like a mixed fraction. So, 6, 7, 1, 6 is 6, remainder 1. So, 1, 1 by 6 is my answer. Second question. 4 by 9 divided 5 how can I write 5 by 1 actually I have not done like that in the previous problem like this also you can do 4 by 9 division 5 you can write 5 by 1 so now 4 by 9 multiplication division will become multiplication 5 by 1 will become 1 by 5 is there any possibility to cancel no 4 ones are 4 9 fives are 45. 4 by 45 is my answer. It is a proper fraction. So, you can't proceed to the next one. Okay. Understood? Next question. 6 by 13 equal to is, is divided by 7. So, 6 by 13 divided 7. How you will write? 7 by 1. Now, 
6 by 13 division will become multiplication 7 by 1 will become 1 by 7 is it correct now shall I multiply this 6 into 6 6 into 1 6 13 into 7 7 3 is a 21 91 so 91 this is my proper fraction so this is my final answer okay is there any doubt in this type of problems next fourth question this is one mixed fraction and this is one whole number so if it is in a mixed fraction what you will do you will convert it into improper multiplication addition 4 3s are 12 12 plus 1 13 by 3 divided 3 how you will write 3 by 1 4 3s are 12 12 plus 1 13 13 by 3 division 3 a 3 by 1 now 13 by 3 division will become multiplication 3 by 1 will become 1 by 3 because I told you the next number to that division sign will reciprocal now is there any possibility to cancel no 13 into 1 is 13 3 3 is our 9 this is a mixed fraction is it this is a so this is my improper fraction right so what you will do you will convert it into mixed fraction so 9 third so 9 ones are 9 so reminder is 4 so 1 4 by 9 is my final answer 1 4 by 9 is the final answer for this question. Did you understand how to divide a fraction and a whole number? You should write that whole number in terms of fraction. Then you should reciprocate it. Okay. Once if you are changing the division to multiplication sign, you should reciprocate it. Before that you should not reciprocate it. Okay. Once you are writing division to multiplication sign, that time you should reciprocate and write. You need not to write it here itself. If you write it here, it is wrong okay here actually i am converting this whole number into a fraction here only i am going to reciprocate it why because i am going to change this division to multiplication that's why i am reciprocating it once i am actually once i am converting the symbols you should reciprocate it otherwise you should not do it keep it in your mind and you should do this problems then your uh, uh, fifth and your sixth problem is a homework children okay next is your Fourth problem. Okay, what is the fourth problem here? We are going to divide a fraction and a fraction. Okay, till now we were dividing a whole number and a fraction and fraction and a whole number. Here I am going to divide two fractions. That is the difference between those questions and this question. Okay, now 2 by 5 as such. Division will become multiplication. As soon as I am changing, what you should do? You should reciprocal this and write. 1 by 2 will become 2 by 1. Is there any possibility to cancel? No. 2 twos are 4. 5 ones are 5. This is my proper fraction. So, you no need to change it. Understood? Division will become multiplication. After that, it will become reciprocate. Then numerator into numerator, write the answer. Denominator into denominator, write the answer. If it is improper, convert it into mixed. Otherwise, you no need to convert it. Okay, next. 4 by 9 divided 2 by 3. So, 4 by 9 Multi division will become multiplication. 2 by 3 will become 3 by 2. Is there any possibility to cancel? Yes. 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. 3 ones are 3. 3 threes are 9. So 2 ones are 2. 3 ones are 3. So 2 by 3 is my answer. Okay. So second question. Did you understand how to write it? Actually, I have car. So, please don't change this as reciprocal. The number after the symbol only you should change it. Again, again I am saying because many of you will make mistakes in this thing. Okay. So, I have cancelled it. Then I have multiplied and wrote the answer. Next, third question. 3 by 7 division 8 by 7. So, 3 by 7 division will become multiplication. So, as soon as what you do, what you should do? 7 by 8. 8 by 7 becomes 7 by 8. Now, 
7 1 times 7 1 times because we can cancel this numerator and denominator. Can we cancel these two? No. So what, what shall we do now? 3 into 1, 3. 1 into 8, 8. This is my proper fraction. So what you will do? You can write the answer as such. Fourth question, I am going to divide a mixed fraction and a normal fraction which is a proper fraction. So, can we divide it directly? No. What you will do? You will convert it into improper. 2 3s are 6, 6 1s are 6 plus 1, 7 by 3 divided 3 by 5. First, I have converted this and wrote the question as such. Now, 7 by 3 Division will become multiplication. 3 by 5 will become 5 by 3. Is it correct? Now did you understand how to write it? 2 3s are 6. 6 plus 1 7 by 3. Division 3 by 5. 7 by 3 multiplication will become division. 5 by 3. 3 by 5 will become 5 by 3. 7 into 5. 35. Divided 3 3s are 9. Is this a improper fraction? Yes, so what you should do? You should convert it into mixed. Okay, so now 9 threes are 27. So answer reminder is 8. So 3, 8 by 9 is the answer. 3, 8 by 9, 9 threes are 27. So reminder is 8. So 3, 8 by 9 is the final answer. Understood? Next is your fifth question. Next is your what, is, what question it is? 3, 1 by 2 divided by 8 by 3. 3, 1 by 2 divided by 8 by 3. See, 3, 1 by 2 is a mixed fraction and this is our normal fraction. So, I am going to convert it multiplication addition. 3, 2 is 6. 6 plus 1, 7 by 2. Division, 8 by 3. I am just writing the question after changing this. Now, 7 by 2, multiplication, division will become multiplication 8 by 3 will become 3 by 8 is it correct 7 by 2 will become 7 by 2 division will become multiplication 8 by 3 become will become 3 by 8 is there any possibility to cancel no 7 3s are 21 8 2s are 16 this is actually what fraction it is an improper fraction so what you will do you will divide it 16 21 1 16s are 16 so reminder is 5. So, 1 5 by 16 is the final answer. What? 1 5 by 16 is the final answer. Next, 7th question. So, listen children, your uh, 6th and 8th question is your homework. Okay? In the 6th and 8th question is your homework. Now, 7th question. This is also a mixed fraction. This is also a mixed fraction. Actually, we are going to divide both the fractions. So, multiplication addition, multiplication addition. 5 threes are 15, 15 plus 1, 16 by 5. Division, 1 threes are 3, 3 plus 2, 5 by 3. Did you understand how to write it? 5 threes are 15, 15 plus 1, 16 by 5. Division, 1 threes are 3, 3 plus 2, 5 by 3. Now, I am going to divide it, 16 by 3. Division will become multiplication, 5 by 3 will become 3 by 5. 5 by 3 will become 3 by 5. Now 16 into 3 is what? 66 3s are 18. 1, 4, 48. 48 divided by 5, 5 is a 25. Is there a 48 by 25 is there, right? So we can convert it into mixed fraction, is it? 1, 5, 1, 25 is a 25. So 3, 23. So what is the remainder? 23. So how we will write? 1, 23 divided by 25 is the answer. Did you understand this question how to write it? Today's class we have discussed exercise 2.4 and I have given few problems related to that concept as homework. I hope you all understood children. Thank you.